Go, ladies and gentlemen, Mars Hall in the building. Yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? How are you doing today? Good, doing. Oh, what'd you say? I said doing good, bro. How about yourself? Ah, uh, excellent, excellent. Is that your guys' uh, jam space right there? Oh, uh, dude, That's absolutely, nice. bro. Like you got all the works back here. Uh, the little Mars Hall sign, the WBN shit. Got all the band members around. What's up, fellas? How we doing? Hey, what's up, man? Chillin', chillin'. Uh, you guys know Cody, right? My co-host today, Cody of yeah, Echo Break. I, I was about to say, there's that beautiful man right there. <laughs> that handsome devil. What's, what's up? up? What's going on, man? What's happening, guys? Dude, we just got done running through a couple of songs, and... Uh, Honestly, just been waiting for this uh, little chit chat all evening. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're excited, man! Thank you guys for uh, for joining. Uh, let's start with just some of the basic questions, and we'll do some fun ones and whatnot. But how long have you guys been together? Because it seems like things have been kind of rolling like a little bit fast lately. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, as you know, BG um, and Cody as well, um, I've been running Mars for a few years by myself, basically, and uh, honestly, it's just like. During the pandemic, I grabbed my acoustic, started writing some songs, and um, I decided, I was like, you know what, this isn't going to be fun. My girlfriend looked at me, she's like, you could be a punk rock John Mayer if you wanted to. I was like, <laughs> why Why the fuck not, man? Like, why the fuck not? I love so, that. I love that. Finding some real good people to put in a band, and like, I, I genuinely choose everybody just by how kind of a soul they are, dude. That is so cool. I got the kindest of this is my boy Laz. What's got, going on? Got a Ron back there, dude. Hey, a Ron. And uh, yes, a -A <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, technically, we've all been together uh, for about six months now, roughly. We dropped our first single back in August as this variation of Mars Hall, and that was the first single underneath Mars Hall release. So. We've been doing this for about six months. We've been writing and recording for about eight to nine. Hell yeah. And we got about 30 songs, and like we've only released five, so we got a bunch of shit to come up. Sweet. Are, are, you, are you guys, uh, do you DIY your own recordings, or do you go to someone in particular that you just that you always work with? Uh, yeah, so basically uh, one of my best friends, uh, his name's Alex Ash. Uh, he played guitar in uh, Danger Kids. Oh, cool. And... Uh, he, I've been working with him for about eight years now, so it's just and it's just a no-brainer to go back because the chemistry is there. We write killer songs together. And, Hell yeah! And it's just so yeah. We we go to Alex, and that's just kind of been the jam. Hell yeah! I totally get it. the chemistry is important too, for sure. Uh, exactly. Cody, Cody, tell me about your first experience with Mars Hall. Uh, as Mars Hall, the band, or as Marshall? Uh, well, because... I suppose we'll go as Marshall because you've known him before without the whole band, I imagine, longer. Yeah, I met Marshall in 2016. Uh, we actually played a house show together in Cincinnati. It was a wild house show. Um, <laughs> Project X style show. And we were, my band was eating rallies outside of the car. And we noticed him, and we were the only people that didn't call his band Beaver Bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we, that, that was when I, the cool thing was to flip the A into a B. They're like, our band was called Bear Bones, but we just spelled it with the B instead of the A. Yeah. I, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Absolutely, bro. So basically, the, uh, the goal for Mars Hall in 2023 is just. To give everybody their own home, their own safe space. Basically, I, I treat this very much not even as a band, but as a brand and as a business. And it's just like I want to make sure that everybody that comes to a show wants to come back. It's an experience they want to re-experience, and they meet new people that they want to re-experience it with. That's so just awesome. brand grow. Absolutely. I got you. Hell yeah. Uh, let's do some fun ones. Uh, I do want to do some trivia as well. 
But first, I need to know a little bit more about you regarding what is your favorite or TV show or movie that you've seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, and you guys can all kind of like think of an answer together, I'll give you I'll give you a minute to think about it, and we're gonna go uh, ahead and jam the hurdle right now. Dude, absolutely. Are you guys arguing about what what to pick? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, we can we can hear you this whole time. I'm like, damn, they're really they're really going at it trying to decide over this one. Right, dude, they like basically, I don't I don't watch. I, the only thing I watch is Rick and Morty. And solar, like solar adventure optics. time. Adventure time, like we all like, like adventure that. time. Can we agree on that? <laughs> adventure we time works. Be, like, what movie are we doing? You never seen it? I feel like I feel like a movie's easier because it's like just one movie versus any episode of Adventure Time that I could pick. But if you want to go with that, I'll totally go with that. Dude, absolutely. We'll, uh, we'll whisper this time. <laughs> okay, Cody, I, I need you to go ahead and ask another question too, if you can. <laughs> and uh, I need to look up some Adventure Time trivia real quick. Right. So when it when it comes to your writing from Mars Hall, what kind of bands and other outside influences are you taking in for your product? Um, so basically, um, I, I guess this influence goes. I think uh, Green Day is a very obvious um, just sound for me personally. You can hear it coming through my vocals, and I mean just writing style. I, I guess a few of the artists that I look up to besides Green Day would be like the main um, Panic at the Disco. Even Mod Sun or Black Bear. Uh, what, what about you guys? Um, I would have to say for me, I'm uh, really big on Cage the Elephant, Steptones, uh, Linkin Park and stuff like yeah. that. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've been listening to a bunch of Linkin Park recently. <laughs> crazy but it's anything that rocks um i like a bunch of 90s catchy stuff so like yeah i'm a sellout no <laughs> i dig it i dig 90s. the 90s music no worries and I, I i used to be part of the lpu fan club so i know all about all the all the Linkin park jams for sure Do you know we had gray days on the other day what is it great gray days which was chester's first band oh i, I heard about that actually it was uh, that awesome. was kind of an interesting one all right, fellas, I'm going to stump you right here, I think. I hope. This is Adventure Time Trivia. Here we go. What language does Lady Rainicorn speak? Oh, shit. Oh. It's only mentioned in one episode, and that episode is titled My Two Favorite People. Oh, what, what is it, last? I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Should have been Rick and Morty, dude. <laughs> I know. I think I... we got him. I think we got him. <laughs> Go ahead oh, and, and uh, no, enjoy no. the hot sauce, and we'll see you in a second. I'll take a swig of hot sauce with you. No worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Nice. You came prepared. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, I got to zoom in for this on you guys. <laughs> Let's see. Tango Habanero ready. All right. <laughs> cheers. Go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Fuck, too late. Cheers. Oh. Adventure time, man. Shit. Yeah, adventure time, bro. Let's say, let's say Ooh. Mars Hall, all you guys need is a big feature on a song. Is there a particular artist that you'd like to have on a track in the future? Oh. Jesus Christ. Dude, I, I, dude, <laughs> I guess, uh, big feature wise, man. Like, we're, dude, my, my big, big feature just seems unreasonable. I would have Billy Joe from Green Day, of course. Anything's possible. Could, you never know. Hey, possible, man. But if I could have a more reasonable size one, I'd probably say either uh, Mod Sun or Black Bear. Hell yeah. That's some good picks right there. Black Bear is crazy huge right now. Mod Sun's big too. Don't get it twisted. Did he just recently marry uh, Avril? Yeah, he just literally married Avril Levine recently. That's wow. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah she, she found, found her dude. skater boy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. found the skater boy. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> All of a sudden, Sony comes along and is like, "Fellas, 
we want to give you anything you want in a contract. You get to keep all your masters, all that good stuff. And it comes with a $10 million per band member signing bonus. What right. are you, what are you buying for yourself? Like as just a toy, just, uh, you got all the gear, you got the touring vehicle, you got all that stuff, but what do you just, what's a fun toy you want to buy now that you have a lot of money? Oh, shit. What, what? Yeah, that's fine. away. Uh, Man, uh, <laughs> you know, I've always wanted, I know this sounds silly. I've always wanted one of those super mini little like motorbikes that, you know, like you just like kind of hunch over on it and just like, I feel like that would be so fun. Like a fifth, <laughs> like a 50. Yeah, I know that's nothing big, but I would love one of those. <laughs> you have $9.99 .9 million left after that purchase. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. So I guess I would I would want to try to like invest into something uh, that's going to give back to uh, the community and to the to the world as well probably in some kind of way. That's cool. Fuck that. Start like I'm a charity buying... or something. <laughs> Fuck that! I'm buying Tony's pizza, bro. Just the entire company. I'm never gonna have to buy any food again for the rest of my life. I just want to eat Tony's pizza, dude. <laughs> the frozen hey, pizzas? The frozen Tony's pizzas? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's, you, I mean, you might be making some money. I we I definitely eat a Tony's pizza for sure. Absolutely, bro. Make that money back. Hell yeah! This, this is a smart, smart, oh, smart yeah, investment right there. Hell yeah. Um, Cody, what, what would you, uh, your next question be? All right. So I know I've talked with Marshall a little bit about this, but as y'all release songs throughout the year, how are you planning about going about that so you can promote and try and get as many eyes on you as possible? Um, yeah. No, absolutely. So yeah, obviously, like, we just want to be like Drake. I mean, you know, like you drop a <laughs> single out of nowhere and everyone just like goes crazy. Um, I, so you can release an album, and obviously everybody you know listens to your album. And I feel like some songs kind of get like overshadowed during that whole process. So like doing the singles game is actually kind of been more beneficial. Like you know. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and on top of that, it's um, it, it, it's we we're we're in a very fortunate situation where we have our own team and we have our own like group of people that we work around. We have our own people that does art recording this and that so i i think um just where we stand and sit in our project Ow. luckily we do <laughs> with the cat luckily uh, luckily we do have the availability to drop the songs like um we we just kind of we just kind of sketched out this plan and I don't know when exactly it's going to start, but as soon as the first song drops, we're going to release a song every two weeks for a couple months. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Just flood us with, with dope tunes. I like that. Exactly, that's, dude. That's a good plan. Your guys' numbers will probably skyrocket because of that. And, and that, that's kind of what I'm thinking, man, because, you know, it's like you already have the amount of following on every single streaming platform you have, but if you keep dropping content regularly, like regularly and being consistent... It's just something that people is going to stay like on top of, especially if they dig what you're doing already. It's more bonus for the people that have been supporting and do support you. Absolutely. Definitely. I 100% agree. I'm going to try this one more time on the trivia, but this one, you said to switch up to Rick and Morty, and I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. It's a little bit of a long question. <laughs> so bear with me, but here we go. In the Pickle Rick episode, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rick winds up in a deadly battle in a for foreign government agency. The director of the agency releases a prisoner with what name to do battle Jack against Rick? Yeah, Jack Jaguar. <laughs> Jaguar is correct! So I have to drink out of the whiskey syringe. That bullet. Because, man, <laughs> my, my tongue's still burning from the last <laughs> one. You're good. You don't have to do anything because I, I was not able to stump you. I have to fill up the syringe with whiskey and uh, not the whole syringe, but in, uh, in, was... ingest into my mouth, not into my blood. That just that would die. I would rather That'd do be, That would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little party gag. Uh, but let's see. We'll, we have time for, for final questions. Um, 
where where would you guys like to play? Like, let's say you have access to do like a world tour. Uh, where does like one country you'd really like to hit more than anywhere? England. Man. Yeah, just, like, the Soho Europe, House. Just do like a yeah. Europe, like I don't know. Is yeah, like, I, like, actually, all of Europe. Would Germany, be really cool. Amsterdam. Ooh, yeah, like, all those places. All, Absolutely, all, everywhere overseas. Exactly. Absolutely. I know it was really crazy because we actually had more listeners in Finland. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like there was like that was where most of our listeners. It was crazy. Like for. Uh, do you have like, any idea why that is? Like, do you have friends over there, or is just the music just no. hit there? Random occurrence. I think that's we got cool. Over there or something, but like. Yeah. We had the, we, it, it was just wild. Finland. Finland likes us, man. It's cool. That is <laughs> awesome. Hell yeah. We like. We love Finland. <laughs> Since since Cody is is the homie uh, of both mine and yours, I'm gonna let him ask the final question of the day. Absolutely, give it to me, Daddy. All right. Daddy. So, I know all of y'all have been around in the scene for at least a little while. If there's one thing that you have learned from others or from your experiences, uh, what's the biggest thing that if someone came to you and said, "Hey, I'm doing this," you'd be like, "Hey, stop." Um, Just be like, stop it. Stop it. Like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> um, I, guess, I guess just basically, I, I, I think this is probably the only kind of advice I can give in that situation. Um, I think you just really got to be smart about what you do and what moves you do. You can't take every show, but you got to be diligent with the ones you do pick. You can't take every opportunity. You can't work with everybody. You got to work with people that is going to not only be of an asset to you, but like you can help them out along the way as well. It's just, I scratch your back and you scratch my back, but you can't do things for people that don't scratch your back back. Yeah. You got to, the love you give is equal to the love you make. Is that what Paul McCartney said? But it kind of applies to that, something like that. It's it's all about that karma, yep. that, that good karma. Yeah, yep. it's something about that in this day and age, if you know what I mean right now. Right now. Right you, now. You, you ain't even kitchen, bro. Oh, I know. <laughs> you had a cat a minute ago, buddy. I can't keep up. <laughs> it's the worst joke of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fellas, we're doing we're doing a Mad Lib. I need you each to call out the first noun that comes to your head. Marshall, go first. Noun? The first noun, random noun. Cat. Cat. <laughs> All right. Tower. Uh, Tower. Okay. Sun. <laughs> Sun. Yeah. All right. I need I need a couple more, so we'll, we'll end it later on today. But I'm gonna. That's definitely in there. Cat, tower, and sun are in there, guys. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate you hanging out with us, partying with us a little bit. Please support Mars Hall if you're watching the show. Go on Spotify and hit the uh, the follow button as well as on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe button for them, fellas. We appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Mars Hall. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>